Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a pick a card reading. This is going to be a how do they feel about you reading. So pick a pile, one, two, three, or pick a stone or a heart. This is that Priscelli heart. You have the rose quartz heart and we have the flow right um, heart so uh, pause if you need to resonate I mean to connect with whatever pile or stone crystal that suits you I will start with a Priscilla here number one and I will try not to forget to put the timestamps in the description box and comments okay let's get started so if you chose this beautiful crystal here this heart Priscilla heart this is your reading. So how, what, how does your person feel about you? We have the Ten of Cups here. You are their emotional bliss. You are the one they want to, um, you know, make their dreams come true with. We have this number 10 here. This is about completion. This is about something needing to end. So something new can start. We have Two of Pentacles here. They are learning how to prioritize prioritize you and this connection learning how to juggle learning how to make better decision when decisions when it comes to this connection and we have here the four of cups this is about a missed opportunity i feel like your person is like you know i missed this this might have you might have offered them your cup once and they rejected it but i feel like your person is now you know what I have I have missed out on this opportunity before. Now I'm not going to let this slip through my fingers. But I want to get some clarification with this Four of Cups here. So let's clarify the Four of Cups. Well, this one wants to be known. So this we have the Magician here. So this um, Four of Cups is all about the learning. They didn't know back then when they missed this opportunity, once when they rejected your offer, they didn't know that they had all the tools they needed to manifest and create with the universe. They know better now. They know that they're co-creators with the universe and they have all the tools at hand here. They have the wand, they have the sword, they have the cup, they have the pentacles. They are the manifestors and creators of their own reality. They know this now. This person knows it. This missed opportunity is not going to be missed again. They're going to um, bring about this new, this this uh, this missed, missed opportunity where once there was rejection, where once there was being left out in the cold, they're now learning to to change this energy and create something new, create something that is for the highest and greatest good. So let's see what messages they have for you. I'm yours forever and ever. This is because you are the person they want this this ten of pentacles. I'm sorry, ten of cups with. You are their person. I'm yours forever and ever. Would you even like the person I am today? But there's a little bit of doubt here. They have gone through a transformation. They have changed, and they don't know if you would even like them who they like the person they've become today. And lastly, here we have I am here for you always. I am yours forever and ever. There is no running away from each other. There is no not being in each other's lives because you guys, your souls are intertwined. Your souls are intertwined and this is like where you guys, I feel, you guys can, can go around in circles. You guys can, can try to deny this as much as you like, but you guys are connected and this is why we have this kind of ten of cups here something needs to end for there's there to be a new cycle to start um for the two of you so guys that was short and sweet but those were your messages this is how that person feels about you thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll talk to you guys later bye hello if you guys chose the rose quartz this is your reading this is how your person feels about you. We have the emperor coming up here. This is the divine masculine. So this is a man. Your person has seen you. Um, this could be that the, you, you, you're a divine feminine watching this. Your divine masculine has seen you. Seen you step into your divine feminine and, and power. 
and they have want they want to do the same they want to match your energy want to be your match so they stepped into the divine masculine energy so they can be your equal be your match because they see you as someone they want to be equal to we have here the light guardian in reverse the thing the thing is that they carry a lot of negativity with them they carry a lot of sadness sadness about whatever happened between the two of you they can't quite let go of it yet, they, they, which is causing them to just feel, have this amount, big amount of sadness towards you when they think about you. We also have here the three of pentacles in reverse. There's this conflict between the two of you guys right now. There's a disharmony between the two of you. Disharmony that perhaps um, they don't see being resolved anytime soon. But let's pull some clarifiers here on the light guardian in reverse we have the hermit here so they are going within they're perhaps taking some time out from people places and things just to be on their own so they can seek their own inner guidance seek their own inner counsel we have the ace of pentacles here they need to do that in order for there to be a new opportunity a new solid offer in the material world so they're going into themselves to to combat this this um, negativity and this sadness, they know that this negative energy is not doing you guys any good. You know, they what how they feel about you is that they want to have this solid um, offer in the material world with you, something solid with you. But right now they can't because they have this negativity around them. Let's have a look at this uh, three of pentacles. We have the sun and the moon here, so things that need to be illuminated. Something needs to come out into the light for this disharmony to become harmonized, for this conflict to end. Only then when there is personal growth, there is insight, there will be joy and happiness. So there needs to be this um, this going within and, and finding some, some balance, tempering the energies with the people in this connection. So the angel of the temperance is with you guys, tempering the energies, making sure that you know things get balanced. So let's see some messages from your person to you. I want you. So you might think that they never wanted you or they don't want you, but this is them saying loud and clear, they want you. You are their person. They want you. I think about you all the time. You're on my mind 24-7. And I caught feels. I never intended to, but I did. And that's why perhaps there's this disharmony and this conflict. Because they're telling you that they didn't catch feels. They're telling you that they have no feelings for you. They're trying to tell themselves that they don't have feelings for you. But all they're doing is lying to themselves and you. So guys, that was the reading. Short and sweet. Um, but that is how they feel about you right now. So guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys. If you guys chose the fluorite, this is your reading. So how do they feel about you? They no longer want to be deceitful towards you. They no longer want to tell you lies. They don't no longer want to be sneaky. They want to be truthful. They want to bring truth to you. They're going through some kind of spiritual um, times here with this number seven they want to make amends they want to make amends for all the wrongs and the lying and the cheating they want to bring some kind of illumination to you they want to um, shine some light on some things the things that they said the things that they kept beneath the surface from you the things that they hid from you that they want now want to bring out into the light they don't want to be anxious anymore they don't want to have these nightmares anymore they want to reach out they have hope they have hope that something can be reborn renewed between the two of you let's have a look at this um nine of swords here let's have a look at this nine of swords here So they no longer want to be in this five of uh, swords energy. They don't want to be in this conflict. They don't want to be in this battle where they're trying to win at all costs. But really everybody just walks, walks away defeated. Nobody wins here. It's a lose-lose situation. It's time for that change to happen with this number five. Change so there can be some balance in this connection. Some equal give and take. 
giving to each other, balancing the scales, giving as much as you're receiving so that you guys can move forward with this chariot here. Move forward with direction and focus. Move forward positively. Let's have a look at this, um, the moon seeker here, the moon card. You have temperance. So the angel of temperance is with you, tempering your energies, balancing your energy out, energies out, um, giving you healing and reju reju rejuvenation and balance. We have the four of cups here. So whatever missed opportunity that was um, that was had here, there's going to be some light shown on that as well. We have the death here. So this trans this is going to be a death and a rebirth. Transformation is happening here. There's going to be some kind of commitment here with the Hierophant. People are reevaluating the morals and values. There's going to be some action taken towards, some passion action taken towards you once this, this all these things come to light. Once things come to the surface. Let's get some messages from your person here. Why do we have to be apart? So your person is like, you know, right now they're like, you know, why do we have to be apart? I want to make amends. I want to tell you the truth. I don't want this anymore. I don't want separation anymore from you. I want to be with my beloved. Why do we have to be apart? But the answer is that, you know, you have some work to do. They have some work to do. When um, divine timing... Um, is 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 when your time is right the divine will let you know is what i'm trying to say but they're also saying here you know we will be together again they have no doubt about it they, they're like yes why do we need to be apart but in their minds in their hearts in their souls they know that we will be together again nothing's gonna stop you guys nothing's gonna stop you guys there's going to be transformation there's going to be commitment there's going to be forward movement you guys are going to move forward. You're going to balance things out. Change is going to happen. I made your breakfast. They're going to be that person again for you. Who wakes up with you. Who goes to sleep with you. Who makes you breakfast in the bed. Who brings you that breakfast. On the special occasions. And the not so special occasions. Because they do it just because. Because they can, and they're in a position again to be in your life, to be able to make you breakfast, to be able to wake up next to you. So guys, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.